Hello, good afternoon. Yes. <laughs> now you're going to speak with an Italian accent. <laughs> Your first question is, in a nutshell, tell us your story from childhood to now that puts a smile on your face. I think one story that I would like to share is when my dad used to read us poems that he wrote himself for me and my sister and my mother. And that's kind of a story that really put a smile on my face because whenever I feel nervous, whenever I feel pressured, I always remember his poems and I always remember him telling him to, to me and my sister. What is the funniest experience you had with your closest friends or things that make you LOL? Well, I have a lot of experiences and, you know, I share everything with my best friend and I think one of the best experiences I have is just feeling that whenever I have some problems and I'm going through something, I always go to her place without even telling her. I always step inside the door and the family always welcome me and, you know, this is my best friend and she does everything for me, so that would be the best. Women's health and well-being is a major part of the universal health advocacy. How do you encourage women to take a more active role in this advocacy? I think women's health is very important and I would say that I would like to inspire women, especially young women, to always take care of their health, to always um, do their checkups at least yearly because if you take care of yourself, you take care of your health and you can inspire other women to always take care of themselves. What advice can you give to a young woman for her to become more socially aware and become empowered? I would tell this young woman that, first of all, you have to read. If you read, you will be able to be aware of what's happening in your country and also all over around the world. And you always have to remember that reading information is key and power. Lastly, as a Mr. Rosalie's delegate, how do you think this competition is able to positively impact our country as a whole? I think beauty pageants have a very important role, especially in times like this where we are going through difficulties. And I think that a beauty queen is really a symbol of hope for the people. And as beauty queens, we use our platform to uplift other people, to influence and inspire the people around us. And it makes, our, it makes us very powerful and influential. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. So that's, that's Thank you. Very good. <laughs>